The water in Lake Cornelia next to Roslyn Park is in poor health, but a new water filtration system is set to change that. A Nine Mile Creek Watershed District project to filter out pollutants from stormwater runoff is now online. Edina TV's Dan Carpenter shows us how the system works. Lake Cornelia's green hue is a visible sign of a reoccurring problem. We've had blue-green algal blooms consistently over the last three to four summers, and so much so that we've posted advisories on the lake for people and pets to pretty much stay out. Pollutants from street runoff end up here, where invasive goldfish move sediment around the lake. In August, that polluted water started taking a detour. And there's going to be a lot of bubbling action uh, and from here, it's going to be going down to the first filter. The city gave the Nine Mile Creek Watershed District the land to build a water filtration system. The million dollar project was paid for mostly by grants. It flows down through an anthracite filter that gets the coarse debris out of it. And then it comes up through uh, three different filter media. Those three methods for filtering the water will be tested. It looks like we got numbers on there. To see which one works best. Gives us an option in the future to take out one if there's something that's totally innovative and new to test that out or switch it all over to one that ends up being by far the best. Many of those involved in the project took a tour in late August and saw firsthand that the water entering Lake Cornelia is no longer a murky mess. So that in itself is at least a good sign. It's a start, right? A sign the health of this lake is on its way to improving. After two years of extensive monitoring, the answer to Lake Cornelia's pollution problem will have more clarity. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. To help keep pollutants out of stormwater runoff, remember to pick up pet waste and consider adopting a drain on your street. To learn more, visit edinamn.gov and search Adopt a Drain.